Q, estimate numbers there. There are several hundred people and well better than our cars. It's a difficult situation to deal with. These guys are armed. We can't get to them from the east because of this large group of people, so we have to come all the way around the backside to get to this crash, which takes time and precious time, which we might need to save this guy's life. My name is Mike Courier. I'm a sergeant in North Precinct, uh, night shift. Gonna be a big group tonight, I think. Yeah, good. So this mission is focused on street racers and some of the exhibition guys that come out along with the street racers. All right, guys, if we got everybody here, let's make a slow pass through there. It's been quite an issue. We've had some street takeovers, some bridge takeovers. Uh, there's been some fatal crashes, some shootings associated with this, uh, with these events. So we've got kind of a combined effort tonight with all the precincts our air unit, canine, traffic, and we've got kind of a focused mission to uh, address these issues tonight. Right now we're going up to Delta Park. We're going to meet up there. Uh, looks like a group of maybe 60 to 100 people have already started gathering up at Delta Park. We're going to try to go get an eye on and maybe do some traffic stops, let them know we're out here, and uh, kind of just see where it takes us from there. Everybody's got their plates off for the most part. So there is a huge officer safety issue with, with these groups. A lot of them are armed. And then the bigger the group, the more aggressive and bold they are, obviously. When we try to deal with this on a regular night with street patrol, you know, we may be down seven to 10 officers on the street due to staffing. Uh, and then the officers that are working are dealing with other emergencies within the city, which may leave zero or one free car in the entire precinct. So we can't obviously send one car into a group of 200 people a lot of whom are probably armed and aggressive because it's an officer safety issue. So that's why we put these missions together. We can keep a set number of officers aside with a set number of resources and address the problem that way. All right, uh, let me get two cars on either end of Delta Park and then you guys stay together, do stops as you see fit. Our plan is to be fairly aggressive and send a message. We're gonna be towing cars, holding people accountable. Some people are gonna go to jail, some people are gonna get tickets. And that kind of depends on the severity of the crime that's committed, the recklessness of it. Oh, there's a drift hanging out the window. We have a red Dodge Charger eluding us. There do I have that. It's plus 100 miles an hour. If we've got three cars, I'll head that way. So first two stops of the night. One stop, we got a tow for no insurance, and the driver has a warrant and is in custody now. And then our second stop was a red Dodge Charger that just eluded about 100 miles an hour and then just blew the light at Columbia. These guys are armed, some legally, some illegally. That's probably our biggest concern is, is the firearms. Our first two stops tonight, we got a bunch of guns out of two different cars. So it's going to be a busy night. <laughs> Let me know where you're close. I got a T-stop, no plated, little RX-7. Uh, no plates, no tag, no nothing on your car, man. He says he wasn't with that group, but he's got the burn the block car club sticker on the back of his car, which is his work car. And he's driving around with a dealer plate, so it's kind of funny. If we got two free uniform cars, let's pick out another one. Airport way, there's a car coming up behind you. It's missing a rear tire. I'm with this Charger southbound from Marina on 122. And I'll stop it once we're clear of this stop. I gotta get you out and talk to you, write you a ticket for the insurance, all right? Quick as one yet. Got a lot of paperwork tonight. We got cars taking corners at MLK and Columbia like they might come this way. You guys need to keep moving along. You're trespassing. I'll tow cars and take people to jail. I got more cops coming. If you're not out of here, we're taking your car. Air 1Q, estimate numbers there. Both people and vehicles. Uh, a lot. There are several hundred people and well better than 100 cars. So right now we have a large group that uh, they've kind of taken over the intersection at Marine Drive and I-5. They started doing some exhibition stuff in the middle of the intersection there. We've got reports of some shots going off. We've got reports that one of the drifting cars hit a couple people. Yeah, we've got uh, eyes on the group at I-5 and Marine. We're not seeing anybody injured. Nobody's been hit. So obviously our main concern is life safety. If there's a life safety issue or somebody's hurt, we'll go into that crowd and try to either evacuate them or get them to a safe place and get them medical. Otherwise, we kind of stay away from the crowd if it's too large. 
We've had officers surrounded. Some of these guys are intoxicated, so not making great decisions. And you mix that with firearms and kind of a recipe for disaster, if you want to call it that. You know, some of the other difficulties are if we do address these guys, sometimes we can cause a bigger problem if we've got multiple people running at high speeds, running red lights. If the perception is that we're pushing them, we can cause more problems. Uh, we don't want to push them and have them run red lights and have them get into accidents and stuff like that. So we, we really have to be calculated in the decisions we make to solve the problem and not create a bigger one. Thanks for your patience, but we got to wait for these guys to peel off. Can't go into that crowd. Man, we just do not have the numbers we need. There's no way we're going to push that crowd. If you got to go around the long way, just take the long way. So right now we've got reports of a car versus motorcycle associated with this street racing group. The initial report we got is that the motorcyclist is not breathing. Fire and EMS cannot get to them from the freeway right now because of the street racers blocking Marine Drive and I-5. So we're coming up the back way. It's out on Marine Drive, but we can't get to them from the east on Marine because of this large group of people at Marine and I-5. So we have to come all the way around the backside to get to this crash which takes time and you know, precious time, which we might need to save this guy's life. So. Uh, 9720, and it's going to be a fatal. This crash involved a motorcycle and an SUV. Unfortunately, the motorcycle rider uh, didn't make it. Um, this was a fatal accident. And it's kind of all related to the street racing thing. The, the motorcycle rider was with a group associated with this street racing group of people. And then the driver of the SUV came up to come watch the event. And unfortunately they met in this intersection and uh, we had some just horrible consequences of that. It's been a busy night with these street racers and we did, I think, everything we could with the resources we had. And then unfortunately we have to end the night with a fatal car accident.